Okay, we're going to test whether your favorite Marvel hero can bring order to a chaotic world. Now, if you don't have a favorite hero, uh, just choose one for whom you have an affinity. One that just seems to be similar to you in personality. That would work just fine. Okay, we're going to need um, quite a few cards for this um, to see if indeed your favorite character can bring about order out of chaos. Um, so to do that, we're going to, uh, let's see, why don't, we, why don't we just deal out the number of cards in this phrase we're using here, Marvel Card Magic. M-A-R-V-E-L, Marvel, C-A-R-D, card, M-A-G-I-C, Marvel Card Magic. Okay. Now, since we're focused on heroes and not the villains right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and just spell Marvel Heroes. M-A-R-V-E-L-H-E-R-O-E-S. Marvel Heroes. Now, I need you to state um, for the first time your favorite Marvel hero. Spider-Man? Is that what you said? Spider-Man. Okay, we'll go with that. S P I D E R Spider M A N Spider Man. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is simply spell out your favorite and then we'll see what happens. Y O U R your F A V O R I T E favorite. So what was your favorite Marvel hero again? It was Spider-Man, right? Great. S-P-I-D-E-R, Spider, M-A-N, Spider-Man. Now just out of interest, if Spider-Man had one more letter in its name, what would this next card be? Are you kind of curious? Oh, <laughs> It would not have been in keeping with the order clearly displayed here. So I would say that yes, indeed, your favorite Marvel hero can bring order to a chaotic world, as just demonstrated here. Okay, so how does this work? Well, let's go ahead and show you um, the number of steps are f not too bad. Okay, so what you need, in fact, I'll have to just do a little bit of rearrange rearranging. So what we need is ace, which well, just has listed here. All of the instructions are on this piece of paper, actually. <laughs> I could probably just uh, end the video here and you can do this for yourself. Okay, so we need to have these cards at the top of the deck. Or if you wanted, you can choose any ordering of any cards of interest that you would like to work with. I just happen to choose these. Okay. Now these need to be at the top of the deck. Okay, so I'll put them there. Okay. And what I did at the very beginning were, were some just false triple cuts, some false mixing that actually doesn't change the order of any of the cards. The cards are, so we still have Ace of Hearts at the top. What else did I do? Oh, I did this funny little swing cut. So you swing over a number of cards. In fact, these very um, techniques I show on my card handling playlist, if you want to look those up. Okay, you just swing those over. And technically, we're actually just putting the tech pack together again. We haven't changed a single card. Or you can use any false mixing routine that you like. Um, you can actually kind of show the cards in some sense. So you could kind of show the cards to the spectator and go, wow, look how mixed these cards are, you know. And then you just have to be a little careful when you get down to the bottom that you don't go too far down to show them this big block here. So if you show them the top two thirds kind of carefully, and have them see, wow, those face cards and number cards are all mixed, the colors are all mixed, and so forth. 
Uh, that will probably be enough to convince most people. But if you want to throw in some kind of a false triple cut or some kind of mixing of the deck that looks like you've rearranged things genuinely, uh, that would be just fine. Okay, so we actually need 15 cards for this effect. And we'll get those by just spelling out Marvel Card Magic. So M-A-R-V-E-L C-A-R-D M-A-G-I-C Okay, now it is important that you stack from right to left. That's important, okay? To maintain their relative order. Okay, so really all we've done here is we've performed what's called a packet reversal. We've just reversed the order of the cards from what they were, okay? Now, what we're going to do is something called an off-centered coating or an off-centered triple coating of the cards, okay? So what this will mean is we simply will spell out Marvel Heroes followed by the spectator's favorite hero and then we'll spell the phrase your favorite and then you can just deal the cards face up as you spell out their favorite hero's name, okay? Now you may notice that the phrase Marvel Heroes has exactly the same number of letters as the phrase your favorite, okay? And that's important for this off-centered overcoating that we're going to do, okay? So uh, you can just explain that we're, we're testing to see whether their favorite Marvel hero can indeed bring order to a chaotic world. That's what we're testing here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and just spell Marvel heroes, M-A-R-V-E-L, Marvel, H-E-R-O-E-S, heroes. Now you just drop these on top, and then go from right to left, okay? Um, this is called a split overcoating, is what it's called, a split overcoating, uh, my term. And now you ask the spectator, now who of all of the Marvel heroes, who is your favorite? Or for whom do you have an affinity if you don't have a favorite, okay? Now the one we went with was Spider-Man. So I spelled out S-P-I-D-E-R-M-A-N. These cards go on top of the last pile, and then the last pile set on top of the first. So you just go from right to left. And then we're almost finished, because at this point, we just need to spell out the phrase, your favorite, Y-O-U-R, F-A-V-O-R-I-T-E, drop the rest on top, stack from right to left, and you are ready. You've actually set up the packet so that when you spell out Spider-Man, the cards are going to be in order, and after you've spelled out Spider-Man, the remaining cards will not be in consecutive order. Okay, so that's the surprising part for the spectator. So you say, okay, what was your favorite Marvel hero again? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. It was Spider-Man. So S-P-I-D-E-R, man, M-A-N. Okay, now most spectators will kind of assume that the next card is a 10 and so forth. And so you kind of let them process this for just a moment and then you can say well oh by the way i wonder i wonder what this next card is i i guess we might think it's the ten of hearts is it actually the case oh no it's not it's a black two and then you can just drive home boy if spider-man did not have that many letters in his name if he had just one more letter in his name this wouldn't have worked Right? So you can clearly see that. Okay? So that is what they're going to believe. Right? And they have every reason to believe that because they're seeing it with their own eyes. Well, mathematically speaking, they shouldn't believe it because it's not the case. It would have worked out just fine if they had actually given any Marvel hero's name. 
Okay. In fact, I'm going to prove that point in subsequent videos dedicated to Marvel card magic.